Hey everyone, here we have a question on HCF, but the method is a little different. The question is, find the HCF of 300 and over e by Euclid algorithm. Sometimes it's also called as Euclid division, and the method is same. It, it's same, like Euclid algorithm and Euclid division both are same. But the technique is a little different than the other, like you have learned how to find out the highest common factor by prime factorization method or by the listing method. This is a little bit different. This is like a division method. We're going to divide the numbers, but it's slightly different than the normal division. Let's have let's see how to find out. So we have a two numbers here, 300 and 450, right? In these two numbers, what you're going to do is you have to take the smaller number as your divisor and the greater number as your dividend. Okay, divisor means with the number which you're going to divide with, and dividend means the number is going to like it. We're dividing that number. Right, so 450 is your greater number, like as compared to 300, it's greater, right? So this will be our dividend, okay? And this will be our divisor. We have to divide 450 by 300, right? So let's see, it's a normal division, a slight difference is there. So here I'm gonna take 300 as your divisor. So 300 is a divisor and 450 is a dividend. It will be inside the division, right? Now normal division, how you do the same way you have to do it. So 450 we have here. So 300 ones are 300 because 300 twos are 600. That will become greater. So you're going to take 300 ones are 300. Now subtract this. So when you subtract it, we'll get 150. Now after this, it'll, it is a little different. Now observe carefully. Next, what we're going to do here is this 150 is a remainder, right? This remainder will become the divisor for the next step. So 150, I'm going to keep it like this. And here, I'm going to again divide. But what number we should take to divide? So that will be your previous, previous divisor. Now see, we have subtracted, we got 150. So 150 will become a divisor. And this 300, this is a previous divisor was 300, right? This 300 will become dividend now. So we're going to write down 300 inside this. I hope it is clear. And the next step also the same thing. Like we have to keep on proceeding this way. Your remainder what you got will become divisor. And the previous divisor, the previous step divisor was 300. That will become dividend now. Now again we have to divide it. So we know that 25, uh, sorry 150 we have. 150 twos are is 300. So here we'll get 150 twos are 300. Now we got 0 then stop it. So we got the HCF. But what will be the HCF here? The last step, this is the last step right here, we got zero. There's no continuation after this. In this step, whatever was a divisor, divisor means this number, right? This will be the HCF of the given two numbers. So therefore, HCF of 300 and 450 is equal to 150. That's it. It's like a normal division. Only thing you have to keep in your mind is which will be a divisor, which will be dividend for the second step. So the divisor, what you had for the first step will become dividend for the second step and the remainder will be the divisor. So I hope this question is clear. In case you have further question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.